What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, very quickly, we are going to be going over all of the horror movies that will be leaving and coming to the streaming services Netflix, Hulu, Shudder, and Amazon Prime Video for the month of September. Starting off with what is leaving the big guru that is Netflix, we have A Clockwork Orange, Ghost Ship, Monster House, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. And of course, taking their place in the month of September on Netflix, we have American Psycho, The Last Exorcism, Scream Season 3, The Walking Dead Season 9, Headcount, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, American Horror Story, Apocalypse Complete Season 8. And for the month of September, our Netflix recommendation is We Have Always Lived in the Castle, released in 2018 from the writers of The Haunting of Hill House and starring actors like Thaisa Farmiga and Crispin Glover. We Have Always Lived in the Castle follows the arrival of a cousin with ulterior motives while he threatens the claustrophobic and isolated world of two sisters and their uncle. It's definitely a bit of a weird one, but I still recommend checking it out. If you are interested in seeing the trailer, check out the description below. But now it's time to move on to what is leaving the platform of Hulu. We have Alien vs. Predator, An American Werewolf in London, Catacombs, Seven, and With a Friend Like Harry. So definitely some great films being lost on Hulu this month, but they have a ton to add, including The Amityville Horror, The Dark Half, Disturbing Behavior, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, First Born, The Goonies, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, The Last Exorcism, The Monster Squad, Poltergeist 2, The Other Side, Pumpkinhead, Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings, Revenous, The Purge, Complete Season 1, Into the Dark, Pure Episode 12 Season Finale, and American Horror Story Apocalypse Complete Season 8. Our Hulu recommendation of the month, if you haven't already seen it, definitely goes to Evil Dead from 1981, starring Bruce Campbell. If you have already seen it, then go watch Evil Dead 2. And if you've already seen that, go watch it again, because it's amazing. All right, now moving on to Amazon Prime Video and what is leaving the platform this month. And trust me, this one's going to hurt a little bit. We have The Amityville Horror, Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th Part 2, Friday the 13th Part 3, Friday the 13th Part 4, Friday the 13th Part 5, Friday the 13th Part 6, Friday the 13th Part 7, Friday the 13th Part 8. Oh, it hurts. A Blade in the Dark, Chud 2, Bud the Chud, The Dark Half, Dead and Buried, Jeepers Creepers 2, Maniac, Night of the Living Dead, Remake 2007, Night of the Living Dead Resurrection 2013, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and The Silence of the Lambs. So like I said, that one hurt a little bit, but again, Amazon Prime tries to make up for it a little bit by adding a lot of new horror films, including... American Horror Story Apocalypse Complete Season 8, Buried Alive, Cloverfield, Darkness Falls, Dreamcatcher, Event Horizon, Gothica, Insomnia, Tales from the Dark Side, The Movie, What Lies Beneath. Out of all of those, I would have to recommend Cloverfield if you haven't seen it already. It's one of those where you may not like it, but it's still, you have to experience it, especially if you could have a full surround sound situation for that. And if you haven't seen it as well, Darkness Falls, it's one of those cult following films that really may not be that good, but is a, it cursed me as a child, so I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well. And now moving on to Shudder, there's actually nothing leaving the platform that we could find, but quite a bit coming. We have Train to Busan, Hand of the Ripper, Twins of Evil, Vampire Circus, the original Shudder series Creepshow, the Taking of Deborah Logan, The Cut of the Dead, The Wrath, and Hell House LLC 3, Lake of Fire. And I would say out of all those, I am of course the most excited for Creep Show. It's been a long-awaited series, which will officially be premiering on the Shutter platform September 26. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What film for each platform are you most excited for, and which ones are you sad to say goodbye to? But that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.